Hello and welcome to American Truck Simulator with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are all well and enjoying your day, whatever you're up to. Right, I'm going to be walking up to this and you guys and girls are like itching your head, I suspect, right now. And going, well hang on a minute, what's happened? Um, you're doing data telemetry, we jumped, you've skipped a step, you've forgotten something here, Kev. No, no and no. Um, it's a case I thought I'd give the data telemetry a bit of a rest in this one. I've still got the webcam set up, as you guys and girls can see, although the light's pouring and it's making it a bit fuzzy, but it's still seeable. Um, because at the moment I'm not getting any lag from doing it, so all the time it's lag free, I will continue using it until you guys and girls say you're fed up with it. But anyway, um, you should, f going back to the truck, uh, this is the Mac R, um, and you find it in the Steam Workshop along with this skin and along with some other bits and pieces which I've added to this it all works specifically for this Mac um, um, again you'll quite probably know where they already are in the Steam Workshop and probably found them, found them already but for those peeps that haven't and don't know what I'm on about and never seen it um, I'll put links in the description down below so you guys can easily find it um, we'll find all the links I've used or all the mods I've used in today's mod showcase um, uh, it's yet to work with cables. I, this obviously is going to see it. It works on the beta. It's only just become to a point where it actually works on the beta. Um, it didn't initially work on the beta. It was saying incom incompatible, etc., etc., etc. Um, going on about the beta, as you can see, I'm working with the beta still. Um, they've just done a recent update to the beta. Um, so now the truck, you can. Um, um, Modify your truck wheels and tyres, um, so you've got a bit more options on those. Um, but anyway, I'll show. Going back to the truck, um, let's just first of all, I'll show you where you, once you downloaded and installed it. Um, you, I'll show you where you guys find it um, in the truck dealers. Um, if you go to Kenworth dealer, and if I just go online, you'll see it there. And as you can see, it says Mac R R600 Day Cab. Um, go into custom. Well, I'll show you where you customize configuration, and I'll show you go over what diff, what options are what. Right, so you've got two different day cabs, or two two different cab designs. They're both day cabs, but there is a subtle difference between the two. Um, top one has obviously got the two lights going on here. Um, and the bottom one's just got a single light. I like them both. Um, I've got no personal preference to either. Um, some purists would say that's how they are, but I'm sure I've seen pictures with them double lights as well. Um, again, not being a full out knowing the history of this truck, I can't really go into great details. But um, there is only two options. I'm sure there's also variants I've seen with sleepers as well. Um, I'm sure they are out there. Um, I do see a lot of the a lot of pictures of Max of this particular um, just a day cab. So I suspect majority of them, heavy majority of them, were day cabs. But again, don't quote me on that. It's just a guess that I'm making. Um, but anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's head on to the chassis. Right. So for the chassis, starting from smallest to largest, they're all the same six by four configuration. It's just the length of them and the tank design that changes. So you start off the basic one, which is six by four, short chassis, and then if I go up, you see it slightly extends the chassis out a little bit. It's still six by four, and then six by four with a slightly larger tank, rounded tank. Six by four, large again, slightly larger tank, um, again larger chassis, and then there's the six by four. Sort of longest chassis with the rounded tank, um, and there's your options for them. Now, for engines, now because I've got the extra mod here, which is the engines and transmissions for Mac R, um, you'll see those options. But if I just deselect them just for now and show you what you get, just with this mod, nothing else added, um, you get those engines, four engines there, starting from that to working, and we're all at the 720 or 750, sorry, um, brake, brake, brake horsepower. 
And it went off. I go for again uh, for the transmissions again. You do get an 18 speed there. Um, there is one available, um, but again, it's a little bit limited on what chassis or sorry transmissions you can use. Let's bring back that mod. Bringing back that again. I will leave a link down below. Um, gives you more options there, both for the transmissions it gives you a lot more transmissions to play with ones with retarder different torque settings yada 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 um, and engines as you can see it gives you a few more different engines there it gives you specific Mac Mac engines there oh we've got diesel Detroit's there and um, there are variants within engine selection so if you you know if you select the Cummins it's gonna slight different to this one and you know so far just go through with each one and have a look see what your personal preference is um, gearboxes were covered interior there's two different two interiors you've got the leather here well tan leather and then you've just got the black black leather interior um, paint jobs again stock got all different stock colors um, the only difference between this and the modded one I've got is it's got an extra skin on it. That's part of it. Um, that's part of it. 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 The only one that's different. That's part of it. Uh, the only one that is different is this one. Obviously, it's the mod one I've got on there. I quite liked it because it kind of gives it the patina look on it or aged look. Um, anyway, you've got going on through the dots. Bumper options, you start off with that. And you can work your way again through to whatever your personal preference is. You've got ones with bumpers on there. You've got a larger one with a with a painted look to it. And then you've got those painted that grill bar bull bars sorry painted bull bars that covers that one let's try and get rid of that go back to stock right and the next and on those on all of them you get obviously extra dots you can add stuff to uh, these side dots you can add flags if you so wish I'll show you on the side, just blunt one in. As you can see, it gives you the warning flag. Uh, as for that option, that dot covers the little interior here. You can either have it as painted, or you can have a little grill uh, meshing um, there if you wish. Again, personal preference. This one, again, changes your um, grill options. So you can have chrome, chrome painted with frame. So the frames painted, the grill is chromed, or just straight out paint. Again, personal preference is up to you. Um, top one. Now this is where obviously it borrows its heritage from Convoy, because um, this, this truck's styled in Convoy. Um, which is so you got the rubber duck, silver bulldog, silver duck, gold bulldog, or gold duck. Again, it's up to you, personal preference. I prefer the silver dog, bulldog, purely because, I don't know, gold, yeah, just doesn't sit right with me. I don't like the colour gold. Um, I always thought it was just like a dirty looking metal. Um, it does shine nicely, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I just prefer silver, the colour silver to, gro to gold any day. Uh, with the aspects of these dots here, sorry I've just quickly glossed over it, but that brings up your mirrors. So you can have mirrors on the side if you so wish. And if we go, that's interior. Uh, these little dots here, these will relate to the air filter. So you can change out the air filter type. So you can have none at all if you so wish. You can change out, it's good because you've got um, dots on both sides. If I come over to here, again, you've got the option to have the air filter, so you can have them on both sides, or you can mix and match it however you like. So I like about this, it doesn't sort of like sort of like 
handicap you in any way. But if you select uh, Chrome, you've got Chrome there, and then you've got that one, which then gives you the different options on the top, and then you've got that one, which gives you the options on different options on the top. And then if you look at the different options again, I don't know if let's just check out the standard one. Does that give you options? No, it just gives you different coloured options. So you can have painted or chrome. Uh, go back to what we was. So either these ones, again, um, personal preference. If you want to give it the all match the truck, you can. Uh, you got different. Oops, it's that one there. You got different types of pipes. So you've got the small one there. Got more of an additional chrome top. Try and keep that in view for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And then you got that one again. It's like more of a chrome scoop. And then the painted. Well, that's painted as well. And you can do exactly the same on this side if you so wish. You can stick that on and either have it matching or non matching. Again, personal preference. Up to you. Uh, if we go up to the top dot here, that's the sun shield. You can have or have not have it. It's up to again. Up to you. Personal preference. And on top of that, you then got the light bar. Again, it does work with a fair selection of mods. Um, you can, if you so wish, to stick round lights on. We'll even work with beacons if you've got the beacon packs. That will work. Um, again, you can mix it up however you like. Uh, it seems like it wants to work with that Mac as well. I guess that is, again, an option for you if you've got that Mac. Um, it won't quite work with that because that doesn't kind of work, but you get what I mean. You can stand as to stop the standard um, ones on there as well. Um, if I try and select that one, it's the sun visor over here and uh, that's the light adapter now there's two different positions if you, I don't know if you guys can see it because it's quite hard to make out all the dots if I get rid of this set of dots might make it a bit easier for you guys to see and then go back to that one you can just about see the position there I think that's the position there no nope. Yeah, that is the position there. See the dot moving, that one there? You can select it so it's more forward or more back. And then you just obviously select the appropriate... Yeah, that's it. You select the appropriate horn. It's only one on here. Um, I can see other mods may vary it. Um, what else have we got? Oh, on the top here, you've got two options. Again, you can either have some light nice scoops. Um, or you can have a wind deflector again personal preference up to you back here you can stick some more beacons on if you so wish and then so I'm going to work my way down here on the mirror side of it you got like the stock ones here and then you got stock bulldog and painted painted small round which has got the round mirror on the bottom small round with bulldog oops um, and painted with round I don't see the bulldog on there though um, that covers that go down to the wheels and tyres um, forget those it will fit some mods as well um, and it also fits the generic wheels so if you want to stick them on or stick them on again personal preference so what you want to do and that's for the same for out all of the wheels and on the back on here you got like the tank strap option so you can have stock chrome or painted again personal preference the tank itself you can change the chrome painted Again, personal preference. This dot here, you can add a ladder if you so wish. This dot here. Actually, I don't know what that stop that actually does. It just says main stop. 
I know this back one. That one changes the exhaust. So you can have several different options on the exhaust. Again, personal preference. I'll just quickly roll through them. So you guys can see. Double. Double tool. Double straight. And on here. Again, mud guards. I know there's an option around here that. Hang on, where is it? Maybe it's the wrong. Ah, no, that's the one. That angle. If you select this one, gives you an option for give you a plate if you wish. Uh, I'm sure there's one with a headache rack as well. There, just below it. There you go. Headache rack, or just a plate on it. So again, personal preference up to you. Back to defenders uh, or wheel arches. Again, you got plastic, chrome, painted. And then if you select that, you got chrome or you got painted. Again, personal preference. Up to you what you want to decide. This is, again, selecting these ones will change out some of this. You can actually stick those on it and it still works. Those change out, bizarrely enough. Uh, those may still work with it. Well, they may not. Um, Back here again, you can have stock, or if you want to make it a bit more bling, you can add some more bling to it that way as well. Uh, let's go for interiors. Uh, standard, in I know there's a mod that you can actually work with the seesaw um, on the Steam Workshop already. I haven't actually installed that, but I know there is one out there that works with it. Um, so you again guys if you want to add that you can but the standard stock mod on its own uh, without adding it anything extra you've only got two types of wheel um, which is the spoked tanned leather or spoke uh, dark black and then regular Mac and they do work with the uh, with the accessory mods and that one ah okay cool this is where you can change the gauge tr the gauge trim so you can have standard or you can have chrome chrome does look good standard gives it a look as well um that's just sort of flare into the air cleaner uh, I think on here, yeah, you can add the extra dots if you need to. So you can add extra bits if you want to. Um, you can, this does work as you can see, it works for the Cecil mod. So you got the option to stick a GPS on here if you need to. Uh, I think it's right at the bottom somewhere. Where are you? GPS there, so you can stick a GPS there if you wish. And um, it might might block your view though, so you might want to put it sort of like a bit further. Because over here, I know you can add it just on its own as well. I think yeah, so you can stick the GPS if you want to over there or tablet. Again, depends on what you want to do. Uh, right, let's X that out. And just clear the declutter. Uh, that covers that one. And uh, over here is another plate. Over here is a mirror. Over here is air cleaner. Air cleaner. Air cleaner. I know one of these gives you more extra. Ah, there's the GPS one there. You can also add it there if you need to. I knew there was an extra one somewhere. Again, it's personal preference of what you want to do. Um, I know there's a little one hiding here somewhere. Might be here. That ah, oh, that gives you the danglies, so you can add extra bits if you so wish, if you so want. But above this also, you can add. It does recognise the. Um, doesn't recognise the seesaw, but it does recognise the. Uh, the Steam Workshop stuff. Uh, I know it's one of these little dots. 
which one it is, I forget. Uh, that one changes out the trim, so you can, again, mix and match it, depending on what you want to do. Again, um, you can make it wood grained on there. Um, there's lots of different options here, peeps. I'm sure it was around there somewhere. I'm probably missing it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was there. So you can add it. So that adds the whole lot. So it adds it both sides by looks of it. Pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Um, and that really concludes what goes on in the interior. Um, we've covered the accessories all on. Uh, we covered the engines. Yep, we covered the engines. Didn't we? Got all the um, different engines. We covered all everything. But a very well detailed mod. I do like this mod a lot. So let's come out of this workshop. Right. Okay, and let's see what the thing sounds like. Let's um, jump in the cab. Rather sit underneath it. Old air starter. Now, I, I don't know. Now... I don't know for sure if that's because I've got another Mac from the Blue Point Print modders. Um, it was Keech Bum did a Mac starter for the um, MH. I don't know if it's that that's making it give it the air sound or not. Um, if it is, then I'll see if I can get the link for it in the description. If I can't, I'll it depends on how he's set it out. If it's just through the forum, the BBM's forum, unless you a member then you you can't um download it but um if you are a member then you you know all the one i'm on about if you're not then again sorry peeps if i can't give you a link for it um but anyway let's give it a bit let's put the lights on because it's still relatively dark out there uh, let's put the gps on so you guys can see the gear information all that good stuff um I've got some toys in, my job is, I'll show you. I've currently got some toys and I'm going from here to here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole run done in this um, instance. Let's just see, see what happens. Right, it's, um, now it says, if I show you, if I, again it's dark, I can't sh really show the interior as such, but as you can see all the gauges do work. Um, if I press the brake one, hang on, you can see that works, and then the fuel's over there, and then the MPH is there, and the RPM is there, and then they've got little um, symbols there, that's quite well detailed, you, you know, you can, it tells you that starting instructions, warning you not to drive off, um, with like the brakes applied or anything like that. Again, the pedals, you can't see the pedals from here. I'll see if I can get out once to get the light, I'll show you. Um, I've set up a bit, uh, a, bit, a bit too early in the morning. I thought it would be a bit more light than this, but as you can see, those work. And the key works as well. And the trailer brake works. And then if I spin the wheel, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the indicator stalk. You can see it ticks on there, and then goes down as well. But I'll try and cover it, but I can't see the... So we'll see if I can get out into the light. And then Okay, it's to, uh, just going to the parking brake. Oh, take the parking brake off. Let's see if I can get to a point where the light's just right. And I'll show you the pedals. Oh, which way do we need to go? We need to go right. Yeah, don't worry about the um, data telemetry. I haven't given up on that, peeps. I just thought I figured I'd give this a, tr a go. This is a little break from it. Some people might be already fed up with it. Some people might not. But oh, and I crashed against the fence. 
I did wonder if that was going to happen. Even though I did take that as wide as I could. Obviously wasn't wide enough. Is he going to wait there? He is. Thank you, sir. Do not pull the front forward anymore. Thank you, sir. Bad shift there. As soon as we get some light, shouldn't take long. One thing I would say if you've got a bigger engine and the smaller tanks, you might find yourself um, constantly looking for diesel because this thing does, especially the higher engines, it does drink it. You would expect that from a more powerful engine. I'm not a big fat Mac fan, you guys know that. Um, yeah, don't just stop there, mate. I know I shouldn't have cut across that road as it was, but. Hey ho, anyway. Uh, shifting wise, it is easy to float. It's roughly the same as the Kenny or Kenworth um, or standard in stock trucks. It tends to quite happily float around about 2000 mark. My favourite thing about this thing, as I say, I'm not a big Mac fan. The interior does remind me of the Superliner. Um, don't get me wrong, it looks like it's, that parts of it has been borrowed from there. Um, it may have been the same model that made the Superliner, but don't quote me again on that. Um, but I guess they would have all been a generic sort of like dashboard anyway. Um, a lot of the sort of modern trucks are the same, they're all generically the same. There's no differences between unless they sort of like completely um, change over the models. Oops, a bit of a grind there. But it is quite nice. I do like the layout of the dashboard on this. And it's the sound. The, that, that little brake sound is enough to win me over. That's what I liked it. As soon as I, as soon as I heard that brake sound, I was just like, yes. You know, some people can sit there and think, oh, that's just stupid. How could just a simple thing like that win your heart? It, again, uh, it's just a bit different. Um, you know, when you get used to the same generic sound over and over and over again, when you get slightly different sounds in, it's enough to sort of like change. Well, it's, it's like um, icing on the cake, so to speak. The mod has gone to a lot of work with this thing, don't get me wrong. It looks pretty good, it's pretty drivable. Um, again, it's got the same generic twitchiness after 60 um, you get that um, with it but that's typical but it does do what you ask it to do it doesn't sort of like isn't it's loose in any way and it might be a case of get the bigger chassis it might be a bit more stable on the on the road Didn't look there because it's plowed straight out. On the higher spec engines, again, you can wind it right up. And it quite happily probably get up to about 90. 
don't go ploughing straight into the back end of a bus or the truck pulling out or another truck stopping, brake checking. Ah, we're getting a bit of light in the pedals. I'll try and show you guys when I get a moment. As soon as we get enough light. Ah, there we go. There is a little bit there, but not enough. So I'll drive on a little bit further. I'll do some outside shots. So that's top view. Back view. In truck view, but not in cab. Side view. And as it's fairly straight along here. Rolling view. Still not lost. There is a bit of light there, but not enough. Wait till there's a bit more light. But it was another nice touch that I I liked about this thing. Wind it really back up again. Let's put cruise control on. I've got this guy up the way and I can pass by him. I should do. Put Jake on as well. Little Jake switch does work as well. I didn't demonstrate that. But there's a little Jake switch just on the um, interior there. I'll try and show you it when we get if we get to a point where we stop again. Mirrors are adjustable. Uh, I don't know if the wheel is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, again, the front auxiliary is not on. Well, I don't know why it switches that off. Um, and then, obviously, yeah. So if I show you the mirrors, actually, I'm going to try and adjust them out. So they are adjustable. do for that one. Uh, small left again that is adjustable. I don't know what it is with this generic just looking at the truck. It, don't get me wrong it works but I prefer this set out. It kind of covers your blind spot there as well I find. If they're sneaking up a right, right, point where you can't see them in this mirror anymore still can see them just there. Uh, right, uh, it's just that out like so, looks good to me, and a small right if I tip that down, and out that way again, just covers over nice blind spots there. Uh, as for a wheel configuration, press. If it let me. There we go. Uh, so you see, you can adjust it back and forth. If so, you wish. And you can, can go up and down if you so wish again. Uh, for wheel, uh, let's see if that, again the wheel's a bit in dark, so you can't see if it adjusts up. It does. Yeah, it's moving. Sorry, it's so dark you can't see it, but it is moving. It's pitching up and down. 
reset that. Whoa. That's better. Wait for that sun to come up a bit more. Um, obviously on the highest engine setting, um, it does hold speed quite well, um, and it does pull up hill quite good as well. Obviously on the lower engines you might find it struggles with heavier loads, but that is reality. Lower engine torque settings. Nice jake to it as well. to hold up here peeps whoops it's because I I skipped out and skipped back in again it does that forgets all the settings you were previously on Light. There is enough light down there now. If I show you, I'll pull over on the side of the road here. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good example, man. I might as well stay here. Wait till we get to this pool, this this point. It'd be safer in here than on the side of the road demonstrating. to a stop. Let's get the way out of the, out of the way. So we've weighed. But look, if I... The clutch obviously doesn't work. Um, you can't see that working at all. No. No. But, watch as I press the brake. That's pretty cool. And... The accelerator. Shush. The accelerator works as well. So, you know, that's a nice touch, I think, on the modder to put that in. Because it's not every day everyone's going to look at the pedals all day long. Nice time you're looking out the dashboard. But I noticed it the other day when I was testing this, and um, I just looked down and I was like, is that pedal moving? And I was like, it is. The pedal is moving. And then when I press the brake, it's like, yeah, the pedals are definitely moving. So, it's definitely a nice touch. It's a level of detail that this mod's got on it. Bit of a grind there, but never mind. But what's your personal preference, peeps? For if you're Mac lovers, I don't hate Max. It's just I don't. I like Kenworth better than Max. Don't get me wrong, I do like an older Mac, like the B62s or B61s, they're, they're quite nice, they've got their own character, and this is sort of one little place in my heart as well, um, you know, it's not the bestest looking truck out there, but I've, you know, I've seen worse. It's just typically, a lot of the, I forget ones they were, but they've just got the, um, it's got a completely flat face and it just looks terrible. It looks really terrible.
looks like it's been ran into a wall. That's my my personal opinion. Um, you know, some people can sit there and go, no, don't say that about Max, but you know what the ones I mean, the newer Max. The older Max obviously had the charm and obviously the really new Max were all hair lying, all hair streamed and looked very similar to Kenworths and Pete Bilts anyway now. They all look they all look have the same sort of like um air streams on them. But I thought that was a nice touch. Let's put the cruise control on. Let's look let it slow down roll oops, roll down a little bit. Put cruise control on and then the Jake on and turn those lights off now. I don't need those. I'm gonna try and get out to the other lane though because I can see this guy brake checking us. Yeah, but what was I saying? Yeah, but Mac for basically the Mac lovers that do like driving the Max, what do you prefer? The gold? Because I know the significance of the Max from what I watched a documentary once when they were building the pinnacle. The gold Mac represents a custom engine or a high tuned engine spec. The silver Max is regular, just regular everyday engine spec, I believe, um, from what I understand. That's how they do it. The gold Macs have got like the high top end engines special edition engines and stuff like that and the silvers are just regular every day what well, they churn out every day um, well what do you prefer? do you prefer the gold silver Mac or do you prefer like the rubber duck and gold or silver again let me know in the comments down below I prefer the silver myself I just I like I say I I just think it's a cleaner look, the gold. Because it's a bit like chrome, isn't it? Silver's like chrome. Um, again, I wouldn't like a whole truck covered in chrome. Whoa, I've got to turn here. Just spotted that. Bit of late, late, late reactions there. I kind of went into autopilot. Another good thing with this, you can actually just ease off the clutch, and it won't be in gear because I've got it in high still. Why isn't it? I've got low lows. There we go. Ease off the clutch. Turn it off as well, and it does roll off as long as you don't. Like dump the clutch, it will just will just um. Oops, come on. That was me, operator error. Um, it will just um roll off. It won't. It won't stall out on you like some of the trucks do. I've noticed they just. Even if you ease the clutch off, they just literally conk out. I'm thinking, well, no, surely this engine have more torque in it than that. And you know what I mean, peeps, you've been there, you? some of the stock trucks on this. You no, know, that should roll off, and it doesn't. It just stalls. I can understand it in very light, end, light, well, even on a less horsepower engine. As long as you're not... Um, got it too heavily overloaded it should still roll off with with just the just letting off the clutch rather than giving revving the nuts out of it But I think I'll leave it at that, peeps, um, just because I don't want it dragging on for too long. Um, if it did drag on a bit longer than normal, again, I apologise about that. But I po hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you did, um, again, guys and girls, please feel free to like. Um, 
If you didn't enjoy this for any reason, again guys and girls, please feel free to dislike, but please leave a comment down below to why you didn't like it, so then I can try to improve in the future. Um, and if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, or find it useful or helpful in any way, Thanks for brake checking me, mate. Find it useful in any way at all. Um, again, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot. And I don't mind you guys sharing. And if you're new to my channel and you see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. TTFN. Thank you.